Hello everyone, Dhruv here from Comet with a guide on three awesome things you can do with Comet and Gradio, starting with embedding Gradio apps in your Comet projects. So here I have my Comet project. I'm going to add in a Gradio panel from the public panel section. Head over to the public panel section, and type in Gradio, and add the Gradio panel extended to your project. On the left-hand side, I have Gradio UI running on this URL that you can see in my browser. I'm going to click Edit on the Panel Options. Paste in my Gradio URL. Hit Apply Options. And we're done. Now let's resize this panel so that we can see all the components. Cool, so now we have our panel loaded in. Uh, it is a text generation panel, so let's input some text. And hit submit. Now the panel is running on the hosted server, and you can see its output right here. Another cool thing you can do with Comet and Gradio is embed hugging face spaces directly into your Comet projects. Gradio UIs are often hosted as hugging face spaces, and here's how you can add them to your project. Let's head over to our Comet project and hit Add Panel. On the left-hand side, you'll see a bird classification model that we're going to embed into our comp project. In the public panel section, search for Hugging Face Spaces panel and add it to your project. Then head over to Edit Panel Options, copy and paste the Spaces URL, into the panel options, hit apply options, and you're done. You can now submit images directly to this panel and run predictions through hugging face spaces. Here we have the output of our classification model. Now the last thing I want to talk about is how you can log model inferences from Gradio to Comet. Now, ordinarily, with the Gradio and Comet integration, you would log the Gradio UI as an HTML file to Comet. However, you can unlock significant model debugging capabilities by logging your model inferences from your Gradio applications to a Comet experiment. Let's take a look at how this is possible. On the left-hand side, I have a Colab notebook in which I'm going to start a Comet project. In this project, we're going to load inferences from a text generation model and log the resulting predictions along with their shaft plots to Comet. Once the model is loaded, we're going to start and launch the Gradio application. Let's click on the URL. Now in the Gradio UI, I'm going to start a new experiment. As you can see, I've started square T6375. Let's head over to the Comet UI and refresh the page. And you can see a new experiment has been created in our project. I'm going to add an experiment message, which will just give us more context as to what this experiment is about. So I'm going to add fantasy story generation as my experiment message and type in a text prompt for my text generation model. Hit Submit. And that's our prediction along with the shaft plot. Let's head over to our experiment, scroll down to the HTML tab, and you can see that the prediction has been logged to our comment experiment, where we can fully interact with it. 
heading back to the experiment table, we can see that the fantasy story generation message has also been logged. Let's add another prompt. We'll change the prompt to the knight walked into the palace. Hit submit. And get a new prediction. Let's head back to the experiment, back to the HTML tab, and we can see the new prediction has been logged right under the first one. So what if we wanted to log predictions to a new experiment? Just hit Start New Experiment again. Head to the experiment table. You can see a new experiment has been created. We'll change the experiment message to sci-fi story generation and change our prompt as well. Hit submit. And there's our prediction. We head over to the new experiment. We'll see that the new prediction has been logged to the new experiment. And that is it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the awesome things that you can build with Gradio and Comet. These two tools, when combined, can help you build amazing model evaluation workflows that can truly speed up the model development process. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please make sure to like and subscribe to the Comet YouTube channel for more content just like this.